A very good morning. You are watching New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Roy Thinasij and here we look at stories making headlines across the country. We kick start off today's bulletin in Kabarore district. Now the Bishop of Renzori Diocese, Robin Chisembo, has dismissed five priests over immoral behavior and lack of integrity. Addressing the press on Monday at the Renzori Diocese headquarters in Fort Porto, Kabarore district, Chisembo named the dismissed priest as the Reverend Joel Manindo, who has been the parish priest of Mwini All Saints Church, the Reverend Jonathan Changasha, the chaplain of Canon Apollo Primary Teachers College, the Reverend Felix Batalingaya, the Reverend Paul Chinyere, and Deacon Abel Alinaitwe, who has been on pastoral work at Bunyonyi Church of Uganda Parish in Chijura. According to Bishop Chisembo, the decision tribunal convened a meeting two weeks ago and after analyzing the behavior of the priests, the members agreed that they be defrocked. He explained that the priests are no longer allowed to preside over any pastoral work on behalf of Church of Uganda or Renzori Diocese. Chisembo also ordered the priests to return the ordination certificates. News coming in from Bale in a bit reduced the poverty levels and improved education performance in Bugis region. The Masaba living in North America under the association North America Masaba Culture Association in partnership with the Izu Yamasaba and the Masaba in Kenya have come up with an idea of setting up an educational resource center. They held a convention and launched the ERC project on Friday at Imba Resort Hotel and they discussed the various issues affecting Bugis region, which include poor education performance, high poverty levels, and unemployment. The education center is a planned 10 story multi purpose building, a project which will house a library, vocational center, museum, auditorium, and health facility. It will be located in the heart of Mbali town on Philip Crescent Avenue. Moving on to Hoima district, lack of facilitation, inadequate manpower and the absence of the will of the political classes failing efforts to crack down encroachers settling along River Kafu in Hoima district, New Vision has established. It is now three years since the Environment Office ordered over 200 encroachers to vacate, warning of an eviction of those who refused to. To date, however, none of them has complied and the Environment Office is looking on helplessly. A team of Hoima District Environment and Natural Resources Committee on Monday made an impromptu field visit to the river at Remparaki Village, Bohima Subcounty, where they discovered that part of the papyrus had been converted into acres of fresh gardens. The settlers had planted acres of rice and maize gardens, among other crops. Moving on to eastern region, farmers accounting losses after caterpillars invaded the potato gardens. Kalorina Thieno, a farmer in Malaba Town Council, say the caterpillar spreads faster than the fall of armyworm that attacked maize. She said her two acres of potato garden have been reduced to soil after all the vines were eaten. However, Professor Samuel Chamanya of Macquarie University disputed the claims that it is a rare worm, saying it is a common butter fly. Finally, in Kamuli district, the residents have accused the district leaders and technocrats of pretending over the sloppy work done by contractors, resulting into the collapse of buildings immediately after construction. Expressing their views during the public meeting in Kamuli, the residents tasked the technocrats with explaining why they constructed three pit latrines at the same time in the period of two years, saying it is a waste of taxpayers' money. At in our Tali livestock market in Balawoli, Sub County, they said the repeat latrines have been constructed and destroyed shortly after commissioning. The district has had to allocate more funds to construct new ones. So far, since December 2015, the repeat latrines, each valued at 30 million shillings, have been constructed on the same site. The Baraza, which was organized by the Office of the Prime Minister at Balawoli Church of Uganda grounds on Monday, was led by Commissioners Haddad Arinaito and Ibrahim Wandela. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.com. 
www.ngo.org.co.ug. I am Rafi Nasejeb.